if c is equal to 3 plus j4 and c prime is minus j plus 1, find c star c plus c prime, c star minus c prime, c c prime, and c over c prime. I'll start with finding c star, which is the conjugate of c. If c is given by 3 plus j4, to find the conjugate, which is c star, we keep the real part as it is, and we change the sign of the imaginary part. The imaginary part is j4. We change the sign, and we get minus j4. This is the complex conjugate of c, shown by c star. c plus c prime. c plus c prime is equal to 3 plus j4 plus minus j plus 1. When we add complex numbers in rectangular form, we add the real parts separately and we add the imaginary parts separately. The real part of c is 3 and the real part of c prime is 1. When we add them, we get 4. The imaginary part of c is j4, and the imaginary part of c prime is minus j. When we add them, we get j3. This is the sum of the two complex numbers c and c prime. c star minus c prime c star minus c prime is equal to 3 plus j4 star minus minus j plus 1. We need to first compute c plus j4 star. That is, the complex conjugate of c plus j4. We keep the real part as it is, and we change the sign of the imaginary part, minus j4. We want to subtract from this minus j plus 1. When we subtract complex numbers, we subtract the real parts and the imaginary parts separately. In this case, we have 3 minus 1, which will give us 2 for the real part. And then we have minus j4 minus minus j. That would be minus j4 plus j, which is minus j3. This is c star minus c prime. Now c, c prime. c, c prime is equal to 3 plus j4 times minus j plus 1. We expand this expression as if j is an ordinary real variable, such as x or y. We distribute 3 over the bracket and then j4 over the second bracket. We will have 3 times minus j, that is minus j3, 3 times 1 plus 3 j4 times minus j, that's minus j squared times 4, and then j4 times 1, which is j4. We note, however, that j squared is equal to minus 1. We sub this into the expression. We get minus j3 plus 3 minus minus 1 times 4 plus j4. We add the real parts, 3 minus minus 4, and that is equal to 7. And then we have minus j3 plus j4, and that is plus j. c divided by c prime. c divided by c prime 
is equal to 3 plus j4 divided by minus j plus 1. When we divide complex numbers, we should multiply the numerator and the denominator of the expression by the complex conjugate of the denominator. The complex conjugate of minus j plus 1 is plus j plus 1. I have kept the sign of the real part and I have changed the sign of the imaginary part to the opposite sign. In the numerator we would also have j plus 1. The purpose of doing this is that in the denominator at the end of the day we will have only a real number. Let's now perform this operation. In the numerator we will have 3 times j, that's j3, 3 times 1, that's plus 3, j4 times j, that's j squared times 4, and then j4 times 1, and that's j4. In the denominator, we will have minus j times j, that's minus j squared, minus j times 1, that's minus j, 1 times j, that's plus j, and then 1 times 1, which is plus 1. Once again, since j squared is equal to minus 1, we can simplify this expression further. We will have in the numerator j3 plus 3, and then instead of j squared, I will put minus 1 times 4 plus j4. In the denominator, I will have minus j squared, which is minus 1, and then I'll have minus j, and then plus j, and plus 1. In the numerator, I can add the imaginary parts, j3 and j4. That would give me j7. And then I add the real parts, that is 3 minus 4, which is minus 1. In the denominator, I will have minus minus 1, which is plus 1, minus j and j cancel each other, and I have another plus 1. I can see that this is equal to minus 1 plus j7 in the numerator and 2 in the denominator. This is not yet in the standard form. To put it in the standard form, I split this fraction into 2. The real part, which is minus 1 over 2, plus the imaginary part, which is j7 over 2. This is equal to minus a half plus j7 by 2.